welcome back to Dear Lydia and if you're new, welcome. Today I've got a fun little video, uh, it's 10 boy names that I love but won't be using. Just to clarify, right at the very start of the video, I'm not pregnant, not planning any children anytime soon. I don't know if I want any more children yet. I'm busy enjoying Lydia growing up and just having her as my only child just now. Um, if I have any more children, it'll be way down the line, so I'm not even thinking about that. However, these 10 names that I've picked out here are some of the ones we shortlisted if Lydia was going to be a boy. So the first one is Oliver, and that was the name that we had picked out if Lydia was going to be a boy. Her name would have been Oliver Ian, and Ian is after her dad's middle name and her granddad. Um, However, when we found out she was a girl, we just crossed all boy names off and then Oliver became really popular so I started to go off it. Um, I quite like names that aren't crazy but they're not really common. So Oliver will never be used in my family. Next name, number two, is Arthur and this is a family name, that's the reason I really like it. Um, there's a few Arthurs further down the line in my family and it is a timeless name really. Uh, yeah, that's the reason I like it, family name. I'd like to keep on the tradition um, and also that it's timeless. I don't think I will be using this one, however, I might consider it as a middle name if I ever have a future son. So number three is Logan and I really like this one. However, the reason we didn't pick this out if we were going to be having a boy is because of the popularity. It's really high in the most used baby names and yeah, as I say, I don't like super common names. Number four is Leighton. I really like this one. Um, Lydia's father had a friend called Leighton. That's what kind of put me off it. I didn't really want to people thinking that I named my child after one of her dad's friends. Uh, so yeah, that's the reason we wouldn't have used that one or probably won't use that in the future if I ever have more kids. Number five, I've got Frankie and this was one of my favourites and I was pushing for this one if I was going to be having a boy. However, my neighbour then got a bulldog called Frankie, which put me off. I didn't want my child being named after a dog, so that one was crossed right off the list. Number six is Harry, and this is beautiful. It's very royal. Um, I love Prince Harry's name. Uh, Harry's lovely and very timeless again. I can imagine a baby Harry, middle-aged man called Harry, an old man Harry, I just, it's really lovely. However, I couldn't use this one as I have a second cousin called Harry, so yeah, I couldn't use that, that would just be too odd. And that kind of ties in with number, let me see, number seven, Edward. I love the name Edward and you might see a theme, I really like old fashioned names. Um, Edward is also another one of my cousins um, but I really love his name and if his name was something different then Edward would have been in my top list. Number eight is Mason. I think Mason is lovely. Um, I know a couple of children uh, who go to some baby classes with Lydia and their names are Mason. Uh, I just think it's beautiful. Really quite a cutesy name um, but again quite popular so I don't think I would consider that and I also don't think if Lydia was to ever have a brother Lydia and Mason it doesn't really flow very nicely and I quite like my names to sound good together so I don't think that would ever be used if I have a future son. Number nine is Bobby. I think Bobby is absolutely adorable and um, it's very timeless again. I just love it. It's not very common where I live. It might be common where you guys live, but not here. And I just think it would be really cute to have a little Bobby. Can I imagine him running about? That's just really sweet. However, my family weren't convinced. So that one is a no-go. Um, but yeah, one of my favourite names. 
And number 10, this is my absolute favourite on this list and it's Ronnie and Ronnie's quite close to my heart. My dad is called Ron, um, full name Ronald, uh, however some of the family call him Ronnie and I just think that would be lovely to call my son after my dad. Really special name. Um, however, I don't know, I might use this as a middle name but I just, I don't know, there's just something about it doesn't click. Definitely consider it for a middle name if I ever have a son. But yeah, I don't know, it just doesn't really go with my family, Lydia and Ronnie. Mm, I'm not sure, it's something to think about anyway. Um, and I've got plenty of time to think about it because I'm only 21, not planning any more children anytime soon and definitely not pregnant so that's that video wrapped up i hope you enjoyed it please like and subscribe and leave any comments for me down below and um, i've got an instagram which i've been trying to connect with everyone on it is dear lydia 2019 and i'll pop that in the description box um, i would highly appreciate if you followed me on there and we could chat also i do a lot of my interactions on Instagram as well and um, I've got a few videos coming up planned and Instagram will be helping me so please don't forget to check that out. Other than that thank you for watching, uh, stay safe and we'll see you next in my next video. I can't speak. <laughs>